Good day, nerds. Uh, it's been nine months, so it feels appropriate to give birth to another video. Also, it's been nine months, so let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> uh, a lot of you have been asking for a video that shows you how to set up the project. Uh, let's see if I can read my own instructions here. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, first thing you're going to do is uh, install Unity. I'm going to install the latest version. Which is, or the latest stable version, 2019.3.14. Something important to keep in mind is that WebGL support, I believe, is necessary for this, uh, at least if I remember correctly. So make sure to check that box. Alright, so it's done now, and in that time that it took to download it, uh, I'm a slightly bit drunk, and so I'll pick up tomorrow. Okay, go ahead and start a new project, using the new version of Unity. Call it whatever you want, project name doesn't matter. Once you have that, go ahead and download the, or clone or download the Unity zip. And once that is done, go ahead and extract it. Then drag and drop the whole file into the Unity project. Easy enough. Uh, the naming matters here, so make sure it's definitely called ARJS underscore Unity. I'm just going to directly select it from this GitHub. Once it finishes compiling, you'll notice that you get AR.js uh, tools for adding image targets, making animations, like that kind of thing. You'll notice that um, compile files is grayed out. That's because you won't be able to compile your files until um, at least an image target has been added to the scene. You'll see now compile files is like available. Alright, then after that you need to go to Jerome Atene's, um AR.js GitHub. I have it linked in the setup description of my GitHub. Go ahead and download it. finishes, go ahead and extract it. Go ahead and drag and drop the entire folder into Unity. Mm -hmm. 
for some reason it created two folders here. Um, if that happens to you, just go into, like, find out which folder actually has all of the stuff in it. Which in this case is ar1.js master for some reason. Um, so just like delete the other one and make sure that the one that is left is appropriately named and it should be called ar.js master. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that name over because that is the correct naming. For some reason, after adding the ar.js-master folder from Jerome Etene's GitHub, it um, the compile files no longer shows. Uh, so if you just delete the image target and put a new one in scene, that should work just fine. new image target, put a cube on it, compile files is highlighted again. <clears throat> when you do go to compile files, it should end up um, getting dropped in ar.js master um, A-frame. It'll create a new folder with the title of the scene as the name of the folder. some other files too, um, like the full screen icons, so that way when you drag and drop the entire ar.js-master folder into your website, um, it'll have like all of the files that it needs. When you do eventually want to put this on your website, you need to drag the entire ar.js-master folder into uh, your website somewhere. Um, and then you'll navigate to that specific route on your website and that'll bring up the actual augmented reality experience. <coughs> you can see it compiled the HTML file folder, or HTML file, and it has one cube located there at the corner. I use FileZilla to transfer files to my website, um, but any FTP uh, type program will do. Just navigating to the Unity Projects folder. AR.js test 2 assets, AR.js master, A frame. And sample scene is the name of the thing. I already have one of these on my website, so I'm just gonna like delete it real quick. Now that it's deleted, I can just drag and drop the other one into the A-frame folder.
And just like that, bada bing, bada boom. Gonna go ahead and open up the image here. The hero image already exists within the um, ARJS Unity plugin under the uh, icons folder. I'm gonna open it up in photos so that way it has more of like a white background, makes it easier for your camera to see it when you actually scan it. Alright, and then once you've gone to the appropriate link, it should work just fine. Sorry for taking my sweet time with this video. The last 10 months have been pretty crazy for me. Uh, I switched jobs at the end of August and no longer work in augmented reality, which is mostly why I haven't touched this project in a while. Uh, but also, this girl I really liked broke up with me in November, and my mom died in February, so being a real human being just hasn't exactly been on the top of my to-do list until recently. Uh, I hope you guys are holding up well in 2020. I'm sure for some of you, this is fine. Everything's fine. And I'm sure for some of you, you're having a pretty shit time. Anyway, on a lighter note, I'll likely be spending more time working on projects and putting them on YouTube in the future. Um... I'll most likely be adding lighting to this AR.js plugin at some point in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. And in the somewhat near future, I will also be starting other projects that I've been wanting to do for a while uh, that have nothing to do with augmented reality, so look out for that too. And until next time, stay fresh, cheese bags.